Hey guys, welcome back to Mentorship CEO. My name is Clyde, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and, and you can just give the, the video a thumbs up right now. Hit the subscribe button, it's free. Again, 100% free. So you can see all this content that I'm, have, I'm gonna have coming, whether it's watches, whether it's uh, running my startup, whether it's just my life here in Miami. So just show some support and hit that button. So this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is watches being an investment, you know? There's watches out there that hold their value. And especially right now, a lot of people are putting their money into different assets. You know, it could be real estate and it definitely could be watches. Uh, trust me, I've done my research. I've been observing all the, the, the watches being bought up everywhere. And, and definitely uh, a watch, the right watch, could hold, save you money, hold your money, and make you money. Because, listen guys, you don't want to be a guy on a date and have to sing, hey Clyde, it's a pandemic, what are you doing buying watches? Or anybody else that you see out there uh, out buying different things. Uh, sometimes the wrong things, but when it comes to watches, putting your money in the right watch can never go wrong. Trust me. One second. Hello? So yeah, guys. Putting your money into the right watch, you can't go wrong. I've never lost any type of money on my watches. I've always had, at the minimum, a return of 15 to 20% on the watches that I purchase. So like, let's say I buy a watch for 4,000. My expectation is to make at minimum for a purchase like that, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred, and in the, the high side of things, fifty percent. I've done it. I've made fifty percent off uh, a purchase before, and guys, you can't go wrong with that. So, guys, yeah, it's all about making the right purchase. I wouldn't recommend going retail all the time unless you're trying to hold the the watch for a long term. But once it comes to, like, let's say you want to flip it in a month or between a month and six months, where the value, you want to get a return, you have to kind of go into the gray market or just a private seller because you could negotiate a little bit better where you could get the best price. So for me, I would definitely go on you know, different sites where, you know, forums where people are just selling their watch, negotiate well, and it's all about making the right deal. You know, when you're seeing somebody go in person, don't, sometimes you, you could take the risk and buy it online, and then when you get it, uh, hope for the best. But I recommend going, meet the person, and once you're done analyzing the person, because it's really the person you're buying from, and then you look at the watch. Uh, you, you definitely need to see the movement. I would say that, especially if you don't know too much about the watch, you're not too familiar uh, to where some people can, can listen to a watch, can just see maybe the date window, can just inspect all these different things where sometimes you really could be fooled these days, uh, especially with these modern watches. There are some real uh, accurate, uh, replicas out there but once you go in person uh, my recommendation is inspect everything with a loop open the watch see the movement and make a decision at that point sometimes some prices are too good to be true if it's too good to be true go into the situation you know with that suspicion and don't be afraid you know another thing that comes up is people are afraid to question a person on their I guess more you know ethics and you know if you question a person is this real like you know because some people you know will scab you you know they, they will try to sell you a fake and trust me when it comes to thousands of dollars don't hesitate to be inquisitive and asking questions and asking the person, hey, can you meet me at a watchmaker 
or jewelry store where they'll open it up because trust me guys you don't want to lose any type of money because from experience I think sometimes if you're really in this watch game you're gonna get burned I think on one occasion I was burned and it was because it was an online deal and I saw the watch and in this situation too the price was too good to be true and uh, I got caught up in it when I received the watch by the moment I, I opened the box and I held the watch I was like you know I was like this is not this is not it you call the person uh, email the person and what they could do is just ignore you or just say oh they didn't know now so do your research follow all these guidelines these steps because there is uh, investment when it comes to watches the right watch the right time do your homework and if you have to bring someone that's more experienced with you if you're not going to a jeweler or something like that bring that person and uh, you know don't don't get any bad experiences on, on, on your record you know uh, take my advice guys so this video was real quick just wanted to let you guys know about watches uh, people are buying them right now and they are an investment in my opinion to some people you know they probably had bad experiences where all they did was lose money but for the right purchase with the, with the experience that you have or I have you could definitely make money or just save have your money just stay there you know like you buy a watch for six thousand you're gonna get your six thousand back in two years three years so guys I must add I keep saying the right watch and people might be like what is the right watch well it's all about what the market is saying you know uh, you can't go wrong with vintage and then especially with Rolex and APs and Patek some of these watches you buy them at retail and as soon as you buy them you can get 4,000 3,000 5,000 right off of it so there, there is money out there when it comes to watches and that's what I mean with the right watch so do your research do your homework and you can't go wrong when it comes to what Rolex though it's to get on that wait list and you know it's gonna be kind of hard you know you got to form some type of relationship with the authorized uh, dealer and uh, you can get that deal when, when it comes to buying a new watch um, not all new watches though especially some Rolexes where you'll get that instant return when you, when you when you buy it it's not like a car when you buy it you drive off the lot you lose a third or half of what the value is you walk out the dealer the authorized Rolex dealer automatic 10% 20% return Rolex watches from the ones I mentioned are really good investments so uh, take it from me so guys thanks for watching hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon.